Traveling along the outer ring road in Kenya's capital Nairobi used to be a nightmare in the past, traversing an expansive and densely populated area of north and eastern districts where 70% of Nairobi residents live, the road was over-trafficked and operating beyond its design capacity. As a result, the 13-kilometer stretch subjected commuters to hours of agony of extended traffic congestion. Whether it's um, along the key arteries or within the CBD, uh, congestion has been the biggest problem which we have had in the city of Nairobi. Estimates have, have, have been done to, to the tune of we are losing almost 50 billion shillings a year and due, to, due to congestion. And the outer ring being one of the, one of the key uh, roads within the city, I think mean, contributed almost a half of that. It was very important that we do these roads to make sure that um, we opened up that part of Nairobi. And so that's why we actually did approach our partner, ADB, and uh, we are delighted that they came on board. We sit with the government of Kenya to think through whether this specific road, this specific highway, waterway, uh, railway, what have you, is indeed beneficial to the country. Uh, is it economically viable? Having successfully financed the Nairobi Thicker Highway and a number of trunk roads in the East African region, the African Development Bank was better positioned to build on its past experience in funding additional mega urban transport projects in Kenya. We are key partners with the government in implementing infrastructure projects. That's, that, for us, also is aligned with our 10-year uh, strategy uh, where infrastructure is what has been identified to drive growth in Africa. In coming on board, the African Development Bank's primary objectives were to improve efficiency of transport along this corridor and in Nairobi as a whole, to improve the business environment for both informal and formal traders, and to enhance efficiency of movements to and from the industrial area. The Nairobi Outer Ring Road Improvement Project is estimated to cost some 94 million US dollars from a budget of 100 million US dollars an equivalent of 10 billion Kenyan shillings, out of which the African Development Bank provided 90% of the funding, while the government contributed 10%. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta launched the roads upgrade on the 23rd of January 2015, with Chinese contractor Stekol Corporation having been awarded the contract through the implementing agency, the Kenya Urban Roads Authority. That we have done uh, thicker road and uh, the northern and eastern bypass. Now there is a link that was supposed to, to come and fit into that uh, equation, and that was altering road. It was an important link to, in the eastern area uh, to the airport and to serve that part of, the, of Nairobi. Barely three and a half years later, the road corridor was substantially completed and opened to traffic. The project redesigned the previous single carriageway to a two-lane dual carriageway, complete with service roads, grade-separated intersections, pedestrian foot-over bridges, walkways, and cycle tracks over the entire length. Uh, we have 13-kilometer main carriageway. We, uh, we have a service road. Uh, we have footpath here, a three-meter wide footpath. A 1.5 meter uh, cycle track throughout the way and we have uh, uh, two uh, mainly over, uh, flyovers, uh, mainly at uh, Kanguno flyover which is around one kilometer long and one other is at Tazmal which is around 500 meter long and we have uh, five overpasses, two at Juza, one at uh, this uh, Jogo interchange and to our at Dunham. The facility proved to be a game changer along the corridor, slashing the travel time taken from two hours to 15 minutes. I was in Ganiso, I was in Ganiso, I was in Ganiso, I was in Ganiso, I was three hours. Nani Mali Katia Kuna Jam, Unaisa Tendesagari, 15 minutes. The smooth flow of traffic 
prompted public service operators to launch a new route plying the full length of the road. Hence, commuters no longer have to board three vehicles. Since what we have to manage the route, we took a Taj Mahal, and upon the round up, we went back to GSU Thika Road. We connect back to Thika Road, and we now connect to the adjacent adjacent estates, like Umoja, Tindwa, Buruburu, Kariobangi. Juu sasa barabara ya mkoa mzuri tunena mbapa tuna tunena tu kimalizi ya hivu mbaka dika road. Uyo mtu bereni alikuwa na igia gari ya dono, ana shukapo, na igia ya umoja, na enda hivu katex, ana tumia feze fea mingi, kuliko leo. Kwa na kuna kutoka raunda mbaka don home, nikuwa na kujanga na forty bob. After na kutoka don home mbaka apa raunda, nikuwa na tumia fifty. Lakini sahi, ato unatumia ta 64. Eh, tatizo ni kuanga ni jam. Unakuta unatoka asubuhi na mapema ukifika huku umecherewa. Lakini saa hii unachukua kama dakika tano ama dakika kumi hivi mpaka hapa. To enable pedestrians safely cross the road now that vehicles can move faster than before, a total of 11 foot over bridges will be put up. 10 along outer ring road and one on thicker superhighway. On the overall, however, the decongestion of Outering Road is evident and companies in its industrial zones are already reaping the benefits of more reliable deliveries of their commodities. We have every day 70 vehicles leaving our premises to make deliveries to our customers. Um, the ability to get to our customers' premises on time, the ability to get our products on the shelves for consumers on time is critical. And I think what has really, really been good with the, uh, you know, Outering, a big benefit has been we are able to turn around our vehicles faster. We are able to get to certain parts of Nairobi and even the country much faster. We are able to uh, do more deliveries in a day. So, for example, previously, if you find that a vehicle was only doing one delivery in a day because of the traffic and uh, congestion on different routes, today, by using Outer Ring, we are able to do maybe two trips. Disadvantaged youth from the informal settlements along the road were also offered artisan training scholarships in various institutions, courtesy of the African Development Bank, aimed at enhancing their skills to assure long-term gainful employment after the project. As we speak today, we've managed to train uh, more than 500 youths, uh, women uh, constituting up to uh, 60%. Uh, in, in, in uh, fairly technical fields. I have learned a lot of things here and I think this is going to change my life. I didn't know that one day I'll be somewhere doing civil engineering. So I thank the African Development Bank for giving me this opportunity. Before this project started, I was in the village selling crowned. So now my life has changed because I have the engineering skill which can help me to some work. I, I can do GPRS, I, 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 can, I can use a thumb level, go out to set a culvert, I, I know how to inspect a road, drainage, carriageway, and many, many skills. I can take a cross-section area of a certain place. When the level is bad, I can tell the resident engineer that uh, this layer is not good. Uh, let's look for an alternative way or get another sample of soil for us to make the road strong. Locals who were employed during the project also gained diverse skills in road construction. We share the knowledge, we share the construction knowledge, the management uh, knowledge uh, to all our staff, uh, not just uh, the foreigner, but uh, most people is uh, uh, the local people. This company is the manager of the company, but I don't know how to do it. But for the sake of it, I have a lot of weld, a fixed foot bridge, so, using in and Conayo, Naza Fania Carpentry, Naza Nicapent, so Quaikam Buni, Nimambo Mingu Nazalan.
kiti ya kwanza kufanya kazi na wachaina ni watu ambao ujuzo uko hali ya juu sana. Sasa nimeongezea ujuzi zaidi. So naweza kwa makapunta tofauti tofauti. Nilikuja hapa kama welder lakini sasa nimeongeza ujuzi wa kujua kitu kama kuuda madaraja haya kuendeza matinga tinga na pia kuna mashini nyingi hapo siku siko nimeziona wako nazo nimejifundisha na nikaweza kuwa operator wazo Also worth noting is that for the first time in Kenya a new market facility has been linked to a road project to accommodate traders displaced during the roads construction The socio economic uh, study that also informed uh, the design of the project did indicate that there are a lot of roadside traders along in the, uh, within this corridor that were going to be displaced by the construction activities and, and for us we wanted to be part of uh, a solution of that problem which was to provide them with alternative and more permanent trading facilities uh, and that what informed our focus on building a market with a capacity of over 3000 uh, traders along the corridor and uh, rehabilitation of the Karyubangi market and another markets along the corridor on the ground floor we have bigger stalls uh, for all sellers because they require a slightly bigger space to accommodate the big produce or the big wares they're going to sell the one for retailers we are going to have half of the first floor protected stalls uh, then half of the first floor we have <laughs> developed an open plan scheme whereby we have this hawker system you come with your wares your allocated space you sell for the day and then the following day someone gets an opportunity to sell so that we give a chance to everyone for the, those people who are relocated we'll give them stalls but for the daily uh, needs of the hawkers we are also going to provide an open space in first floor Nairobi city government is very grateful to the African Development Bank uh, for this uh, innovative project which is the first of its kind in this region uh, we have never had a road funded project linked with a market before therefore the key outcomes of the Nairobi outer ring road improvement project include improved accessibility to the larger population of Eastlands area of Nairobi, commuters relieved from endemic congestions due to the expanded road capacity resulting in reduced travel times on the project road, more efficient supply chains leading to more reliable deliveries to and from the industries due to elimination of bottlenecks on the roadway, direct and indirect jobs created during construction and operation, increased property values due to improved air quality along the corridor and better accessibility and enhanced business operating environment and unemployment reduction through artisan training to disadvantaged youth. These outcomes fit in well with both the AFDB's high fives and the Kenyan government's big four agenda and vision 2030. You can see this road around if it has got um, impact on two of the big four, manufacturing and housing. It will actually generate a lot of uh, GDP for this country. When you say integrate Africa, it means build the railroads, the roadways, the airports, the waterways that are required to physically and economically integrate Africa. Therefore, our high fives, our high fives very much speak to the infrastructure priorities of the government of Kenya. The Outering Road Improvement Project is yet another milestone cementing the solid partnership between the African Development Bank and the Kenyan government that has seen the country gain from close to 3.6 billion US dollars worth of infrastructure financing from the bank since 1967. Of this figure, transport has taken the lion's share at 1.7 billion US dollars. It's not only a road, it's, it's something that has transformed economic lives in that region. So in that respect, we are very delighted to have been given the opportunity and delighted to have had the chance to successfully implement the project.